Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you this time from Linux. So if you're interested in installing Apache Cassandra on Linux, this is the video for you. You may want to do that because you're a regular Linux user and uh, familiar with it, or because Apache Cassandra runs really well on Linux. Linux is uh, common for servers, and Apache Cassandra is uh, designed for servers and therefore designed for Linux. And so if you're doing that, you may be installing fresh or installing in a virtual machine and uh, choosing a Linux distribution. I'm using Linux Mint here, uh, which is a very popular version of Linux. It's based on Ubuntu, which is therefore based on Debian. And so uh, if you're running Debian or Ubuntu variation, then this tutorial will work very similar uh, in most respects, maybe exactly the same. Uh, one thing I also like about Linux Mint is it has this time shift capability where you can create um, a snapshot of your system, and then if you mess something up, you can restore back to that snapshot really easily. Um, and so that might be helpful before running through this tutorial in case anything gets messed up. First of all, we're going to um, follow the instructions on the Cassandra website. So I'm going to go to uh, Cassandra dot apache dot org and go ahead and click on the download and here um, we're going to follow the Debian instructions now before we do that we need to have a very specific version of Apache and and a very or Java and a very specific version of Python and so I'm going to open up my command line and just check it out and so I'm going to type in PyPython dash version you can see I've got a good version of Python. 2.7 is great for uh, um, Cassandra. And uh, let's try Java. For Java, we need actually version 8. So that is not what comes with most operating systems by default. And so we're going to have to install that. So what I'm going to do is do a sudo apt install open JDK 8-JDK. So this will install the full Java development kit. That way we can also develop in Java. I just entered in my password, my user account password. I'm going to hit yes here. Now, once this finishes, uh, we're going to have to do one more thing. We're actually going to have multiple versions of Java installed. And so if I type in Java dash version after this install, I'll still get the old version or the more recent version, version 11, in my case, um, that shows up. And so what I want is Java 8 to be my default. And so I'm going to do sudo update alternatives config Java. And you can see here, I'll just uh, make my window a little bigger, um, that I've got different options for Java that are installed. And so I want to select two here um, because that is the Java 8 um, version. So I'm going to hit two and enter. That number might be different on your computer. Now if I type in Java dash version, you can see in fact 1.8 shows up. Okay, so the next thing to do is to run through the guide for installing Cassandra on the website. So I'm going to start by this top line here, adding this to my source list copy and paste it in hit enter that's good copy this good now sudo apt update I'll just type that the latest packages including those from Cassandra and then we didn't get any error um, so if you um, got an error like this there's more instructions on what to run here but we don't need to do that so the next thing is to just install Cassandra so we'll do sudo apt install Cassandra Now, if everything went well, Cassandra should be up and running. So we can type node tools or node tool status. And you can see some information about our server. So um, the address, the load currently, um, some other information. 
Um, we can also type CQLSH. This is the Cassandra query language shell. And we should be able to connect to it. Um, so you can see I don't get a no connection error. It's, uh, it's connected to the test cluster um, on this port and we should be able to enter some information there. So Cassandra's up and running, is running as a service in the background, so when we reboot Linux, it should continue to run. It should automatically start when we restart our system and log in. So hope this video is useful. Uh, probably the easiest to install Cassandra on a Linux machine. Um, if you run into any problems with this, uh, see if you can track down some of the errors um, yourself and um, figure it out with a little bit of Googling, a little bit of Stack Overflow. Hope this is helpful. Let me know uh, if you're really stuck.